Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss another side hustle or should I say business that you can start today by making $8,000 to possibly $10,000 or more a month. So stay tuned. So today's side hustle or business that we're going to talk about is child care. I'm not talking about child care in a child care center. I'm talking about child care in home child care, which makes up a large percentage of the U.S. population when it comes to child care, because child care in a child care center is very expensive, as you should know, because there may be some stay at home moms that have to take care of their children at home because child care is too expensive. And one of the parents check may be going towards child care. But how can you become a business owner and owning your own child care place? I would suggest you go into in-home child care first. Now, for example, my state, um, you can only hold up to eight children and depending on that, you can have at least three school age children or some of them have to be preschool age children. You, you just need to look up your state's local licensing and child care rules and regulations because each state is different. And I'm going to go on here, you guys, and see what, give y'all an example of another state. So my state, um, I can hold eight children. For example, so if you're charging well enough that you meet the 8,000 threshold, it'll be easy to meet the threshold opposed to just having three children. If you're charging correctly and make sure you're providing quality child care, a good curriculum, and also making sure that the children are being taken care of, then it will be reaching that goal in no time. And some states have more um, children than others. Like I know in the state of Texas, if I'm not mistaken, they may have changed the rule or not, but Texas can hold at least 12 children. So y'all, if y'all are charging um, well over, let's say like two to 300, then you have to meet the cost of living. So if you're charging well over, and there have, then you have five kids in there, you can easily meet a $10,000 a month, you know, threshold for your money. And don't just look at it as towards for as far as the rate for providing child care, because they're also paying for that spot, but also see if you can do other income streams when it comes to in-home child care. You want to, maybe you can start a YouTube channel. I know there's a lot of people on here who have YouTube channels geared towards how to start an in-home child care business, or there are also consultants that are on YouTube that also explains the process. Maybe you can have a movie night on Saturday and charge like $10 for snacks or drinks and invite more children. And, and dropping child care is another thing. If you're watching children for dropping child care, you can have, you know, a good amount of children if you have a large amount of space, but they can only be there for less than four hours. And then also some states, they don't even have to be licensed. Personally, I wouldn't send my child to a in-home child care center or child care center um at all if it wasn't licensed and i'm even if they are licensed i know you may have that adult or staff member who will try and try to get over on you or they're just mean towards the children but if they are licensed at least the state has to come into the in-home child care center and still follow the same rules and regulations as the regular child care center. And like I said, every state is different. So I'm gonna scroll on my screen and give an example of another state. So like if this website is still accurate, um, Minnesota, you can have 10 kids. If six younger than kindergarten age with no more than three younger than 24 months and no more than two younger than one. So like I said, every state is different, but for the most part, like I said, is you can easily make an easy five thousand to eight thousand to ten dollars ten thousand dollars it just depends on how creative you want to get whether what other income streams you can include along with you providing care and just you know making sure that you're good at what you you do if you don't like children you don't love children this probably isn't the business for you like for me this is my gift i work with children all day every day because i'm a special ed teacher so going into this business and just not liking children, then you probably don't want to do it because 
you are going to have a hard time because you have to you have to make sure you're with the children at all time. And when you open the in-home child care, you know, your in-home child care business, it has to be on the bottom floor. They have to have access to a bathroom, a door, and then you have to fix up your outside. When I was getting started in my state, I had to call like the county to see if even if my house was even zoned for the in-home child care, because you have to call your state and see if the your home is zoned for the in-home child care. My state was, I mean, my, sorry guys, my house was zoned for, and it was also zoned for a group home. So if I wanted to start a group home in my house, I could too. So those are just, that's just another side hustle or actually a profitable business that you can start today as anybody can start. But like I said, if you don't like children, you don't want to be around children 24 seven, then this probably isn't the business for you. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe as always. Thank you. Bye guys.